Back with Roger Hecht, and we have the Avro 3D printed Avro Vulcan. That's a good altitude right there, cruising around. That's nice. But yeah, this is this is Roger's completely 3D printed Avro Vulcan. The plans for this. Uh, and I say that kind of. The files. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 what, <laughs> uh, the files for this were on RC groups, and there's a build thread. This was designed by a a 13 year old. I think he's 14 years old now. In any event, a very young Australian uh, chap, and his father built it, and then they fly really super good. As you can see, I mean, it's just, and it's powered by this tiny little EDF. It's what, a 60, Roger? 50. 50. A 50-sized EDF and a, a 3S battery. And look at that performance. And so Roger put a, uh, this one's got fixed gear on it, I believe, right? Yeah, it's fixed gear, yeah. So, anyway, it's a... Uh, there you go. Oh, shoot. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Okay, so there's an Avro roll. <laughs> but James see. James Bond would be proud. But uh But no, this was this was part of the, of Britain's uh the United Kingdom's V series bombers, right? So they had a a, a, a rolling. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. That was sweet. So they had a whole family of, of bombers that were nuclear bombers, and uh, this was, I would say the pinnacle was the Vulcan, and uh, certainly with the most distinctive with that big delta wing and all the rest of it. So this is uh, one part of their nuclear arsenal. Look at that, you see how quiet that thing was? My God. Wow, and that's on a 50, that's a 50 fan, and it's, I said bifurcated a long time ago, and Roger said, no, oh, no, it's quadrificated, so it's literally has four little tiny outlets, it's like, what? So yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy how good this thing flies, so, uh, we had it at a, at a, this, we're in St. George, Utah, by the way, right now, we're in beautiful St. George, Utah, and... Roger had it down, and we were down in uh, Victorville, I think, or Apple Valley. No, Hesperia. I just <laughs> rattled off all three. We were in Hesperia and at a fly-in in the spring, and a gust of wind caught it. That's how light this thing is. A gust of wind caught it, blew it off the table, knocked the nose off, so Roger had to essentially rebuild the, the model. Had to reprint Fuse 1 and one of the... Yeah, yeah. The I'm sorry, he re... <laughs> I keep talking old world, right? He had to reprint the model. <laughs> he reprinted it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Sweet. Boy, you know, that thing. That thing's camouflage. When you, you were coming in, I, now, I could barely see it. When I take off yeah. over the grass right there. Yeah. And the sage that's out there on that little hill. Yeah. Like, where'd it go? Yeah, where'd it <laughs> where go? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it di it just disappears, which, by the way, just speaks volumes to the effectiveness of the camouflage. <laughs> but yeah, this is it right here. This is the 3D printed Avro Vulcan bomber, and we're at a increasingly busy uh, St. George, Utah electric fun fly. Thanks, Roger. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, Josh. All righty, all righty. And thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. MK9's blog. Yeah. What now? MK9 is the dad. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got this on a blog. Sure, now. sure. Well, we'll make sure that uh, we put that on the in the links. Appreciate it, Roger. Thanks right. much, brother. All right.
3D printed Avril Woken Bomber, St. George, Utah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Cheers and all the best from Just Winging.